friends welcome we are going to demonstrate you the functionality of the tubes by hysteroscope you can see these are the ostia with the pressure effects you can see the dynamicity of the ostia which can be documented you can see the ostia is opened up with the high pressure and if you reduce down the pressure the ostia is going to get closed this is the uh, usually when you are doing the assessment for the fertility and the potency of the tubes this is a one of the effect on the hysteroscope with the pressure effects you can just able to see what is the dynamicity of the ostia if the ostia is dynamic it shows it means that the tubes may be a patent and it may gives you a impression that the fertility of this patient can be really uh, is of a good uh, importance when you just do a hysteroscopy without a laparoscopy here we are going to show it to you a different test where you whether you can able to implement uh, this thing into your hysteroscopy this is a bubbles test you can see the bubbles are are been sucked up into the ostia and this shows that means there is a tubal patency which is been documented so this is a another test which will tell you like a bubble testing now you can just inject a methylene blue also and you can able to see the methylene blue is sucked up into the ostia into the peritoneal cavity and this is the better tool because if all the time there is no you need not to do a uh, HHG or if you just do doing a hysteroscopy you can able to uh, tell to the patient that your tubes are, are patent because this is a dye test where methylene dew is been injected and you can see the methylene dew beautifully goes into the ostia and sucked up into the peritoneal cavity by the effects of the uh, intrauterine uh, uh, dynamicity. So the same uh, principles will be applicable on the other ostia I am going to inject with the methylene dew and the methylene dew is going to get uh, pulled up into the ostia and into the peritoneal cavity. This is an indirect test of uh, of doing the tubal patency testing uh, because you can see this is the methylene blue I am injecting and it is slowly been uh, taken away by the tubes. It means that the tubes are being patent. I am going to show it to you a different test wherein you are going to see that this is the magic of hysteroscopy with a simple instrument like office hysteroscope. Even if you don't want the patient don't want it to go with the HHG you can just able to document the tubes are patent. This is the methylene blue test. You, uh, you already seen the dynamicity of the ostia by, uh, by pressure effects. You can see with the use of the bubble testing and this is the one of the dye test. You can see the dye is going to pulled up into the ostia into the peritoneal cavity. So these are the indirect tests which will tell you that the, uh, the tubes are patent and that can be documented by just doing the office hysteroscopy herein the patient doesn't require any anesthesia the comfort of the patient is very good because the patient herself can be able to see the tubal functioning and the ostia and the, uh, and the uterine cavity by herself so uh, this is the one of the things by assessing the tubes by doing the hysteroscopy from the uh, from the uterine side and the same thing uh, when as a infertility specialist when we are doing the tubal patency it is uh, prudent that you should be doing uh, the same testing by doing the hysteroscopic assessment of the that is called as a fimbrioscopy. So we are going to show it to you about the fimbrioscopy also. This is the fimbrioscope which has been from the uh, from the abdominal cavity. From the 5 mm trocar you can just in instill the fimbrioscope. The, uh, the fimbria assessment of the fimbria. It's in a, uh, the, these are the golden standards that if the, there is a tubal patency is been documented that doesn't mean the tubal functions are normal. So it is better that you should be doing a fimbrioscopy. While doing the fimbrioscopy, you can able to know the architecture of the fimbria. And the same fimbrioscope can be inserted into the tube to know a phalloposcopy. So which will gives you a, a inner structure of the fallopian tube. What is the architecture of the fallopian tube? So everything in detail you are going to see. Now here I am just going from the fimbria end. I will be seeing where is the fimbria. And from the fimbria, the fimbrioscope is going so you can see the beautiful architecture of the fimbria the healthy fimbria will show you the dynamicity and the blood vessels usually this fimbria gives us a look that there is a uh, flattening of the rugi or the or the functionality of the tubes can be documented and you can just tell to the patient that uh, these tubes are patent but you may not be achieving the pregnancy you may require a further course of a treatment so these are the uh, better tool to show it to the patient that these are the particular problems we are encountered with. So you can see the architecture of the fimbria, the inner muscular, uh, inner mucosal fold as well as the blood vasculature. So uh, from this you have to go inside then it is called as a phalloposcopy. 
the phalloposcopy will tell you about the inner lining of the fallopian tube and which will tell you how uh, the uh, the tubes are and what is their functionality of this particular pattern of the mucosal fold so if the mucosal fold are are not been there or if it is a, become flat there is a chances that the pregnancy may achieve but the chances of ectopic pregnancy will be on a, on a higher side so these are the these are the particular interesting things which able to tell you about while doing the fimbrioscopy as well as the phalloposcopy so uh, this is the video which will tell you when you're doing a hysteroscope what you can able to know how the tubal patency can be documented and the fimbrioscope importance of the fimbrioscope so this is the magic of the scopes about the uh, about the functionality of the tubes and now i'm coming out and you can see uh, the beautiful fimbria lying uh, in the peritoneal cavity and the uh, vasculature around it and uh, this means that their patient is having the good fertility outcome where just to give a ovulation induction and she will conceive so these are the test of doing the assessment of the tubes thank you thank you for watching and